All right, so here is uh, a fixed version. You can see that um, for the most part we've got clean rotation channels. If I grab this chain at rotation zero, here is rotation zero. If I grab the wrist control, we move it around. We're good. If we grab the pull vector, actually if I constrain the pull vector, constrain pull vector, we should still have clean values in the arm, and we do. Check that this rotates the arm. Yep. Okay, so here's uh, here's the working version, and let's see how I got there. Okay, here's the broken file, and we can see in this current setup, here's the pull vector, and uh, we've got our skeleton with rotation values. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the IK chain and we're going to find out where the problems are. So the first place I always check is elbow. Joint orient values, you're, you're 0 0.08 off and 0 0.7. So this is enough to break the rest of the rig uh, and cause rotation channel problems. So, um, but let's pretend that those it, the values are just, you know, they're in there and you can't fix them. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate the rig back to zero like you were set up. Okay, so you were using a script that was calculating the math nodes, but those those orient values are just enough uh, to cause the math to fail and place this wrong. Um, the other problem is even with the orient values, uh, if you look down through your chain, um, there could be a slight translation issue. So if we zero these guys out um, and make sure that there are no translation problems, um, that can also be a factor. But if you go up one more chain, you can see that there, um, in this constrained bone arm O1, it's got rotation values as well at real, real small values. So uh, in its orient constraint to the um, arm FK, there was a small shift. So just be aware that the, those are going to all propagate down. Um, okay, so let's look at how we quickly find the uh, the correct placement of the arm here. Uh, oh, well, the other thing that needs to happen is, of course, we also have to make sure that this guy is in the same location as this thing. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and right now this is zero, so if I grab the handle and grab this and do a constraint with no offset, um, you can see that there are some negative, there are sub values on the translation that are going to also cause problems. So um, we know now automatically that this, this controller is not in exactly the same place. So if I parent this in and I zero it and then I unparent it, actually let me go find that guy in here. Okay, so somewhere in here the uh, we can grab this um, offset value. Go ahead and grab this and grab the offset and constrain it. And now we can delete that constraint. And we should have it the correct location. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab a degree one curve. And I'm going to draw it out real quick. Create CV curve. Two, three, good, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab the chain. We're going to add IK to and snap it to it. Okay, I've snapped it. I'm going to switch to normal average. I'm going to go ahead and scoot that guy out to where our pull vector is going to be. I vert snap the pull vector to that ver vertice. I've created the pull vector constraint, and we check that the arm is still zero. And now, because we've got the uh, this guy positioned correctly, we should be able to constrain this and still have zero rotation. 